area where officials were also in the process of trying to close the street. One of the more uh, surprising revelations that came out of this press conference is that according to officials, the area where the soldiers were had not been designated previously as a low water crossing. And they say that this is just a reminder about how quickly in a flash flooding event that water can rise uh, and rise and, and sweep a car, even an armored car, a big armored vehicle like the one that was being used as part of this training exercise, how quickly the water can sweep a vehicle like that off the road. Now, officials say that, of course, their number one priority today is continuing to search for those missing soldiers. They also are in the process, as you can imagine, of trying to identify the soldiers who have been recovered and notify their next of kin. There are, as you can also imagine, counselors on the scene here reaching out to uh, friends and family and loved ones of those soldiers at this time. Authorities have not released the names of those soldiers who are both missing and confirmed dead, but said they will do so 24 hours after their families have been notified. But of course, as you can imagine, a very sad scene here at Fort Hood this morning, which sadly is no stranger to, to major tragic events. Of course, we've had uh, in recent years uh, mass shootings. There have also been other soldiers who have been killed as part of training exercises. But officials say that they will keep us posted throughout the day as more information becomes available here. But they do not at this point have any more scheduled news conferences. We will be here throughout the day. I'm working with, uh, of course, several colleagues at the Statesman, including Jeremy Schwartz, my colleague on the investigative team, who also has a lot of history covering Fort Hood and the, and, and the incidents here. So we've got a number of people working on a number of different angles, and we will keep you posted here on Facebook and on Statesman.com.